This video describes the different types of data. And as we've said before, we can only do certain types of analyses on certain types of data. So it's very important that we understand uh, the different types of data that we have and some of the vocabulary involved with data. Firstly, we have parameter versus statistic. As stated before, a parameter is a measurement that describes the characteristic of the population. It's describing the entire group. So if we're talking about the mean, right, it's mu. If it's um, uh, this row, it looks like a p, that's when we're talking about proportion of things. And then this sigma is used for standard deviation. Whereas if we're dealing with a statistic, then we're dealing with a characteristic of a sample and then we're hoping that characteristic is uh, kind of representative of the actual population that the sample came from and we just use slightly different symbols right we have x bar for mean and then what will be called p hat that little thing over it's called hat and then we'll use s instead of sigma for standard deviation next we have the difference between quantitative and qualitative Quantitative is what you're used to seeing, numbers, numerical data. And then qualitative, or sometimes called categorical data, are descriptive words, things that describe data. So you, gender, uh, political affiliation, things like that, just things that aren't numbers. You can actually have numerical values that is considered qualitative data if it's just a descriptor. So for instance, if you um, had all of the Jersey numbers for a professional uh, football team. Even though it was a number, number 35 versus number 10, there's no numerical, you know, it's not like 35 is three and a half times as good as number 10. It's just a, a description of that person. That person has number 35, right? But usually qualitative stuff is uh, words. Back to when we're working with quantitative data, the numbers that we're used to, there's two families that we have. We have discrete numbers and continuous numbers. Now discrete data are numbers that can be counted, countable numbers. And, and normally discrete data um, is, is just that. It's, it's data that represents a number of things. The, you know, for instance, the number of eggs that a hen lays, or the number of TVs that you own, or <clears throat> the number of children that you have. Discrete data is a countable number. It can be a really large number, like a million, but it still has to be countable. Whereas continuous data is usually data that involves um, a measurement of an amount, right? So before it was a quantity, now we have an amount. So if you're measuring distances or volumes or areas or those types of things that can have infinitely small uh, increments, and infinitely many possible values, then that's continuous data. You no longer have a, a finite number of things. You can no longer count up exactly how many things. You know, um, an amount, a volume, a gallons of milk can be measured in as precise as you want. That decimal can keep going as much as you want. So if you visualize that you can take that number and measure it more and more precisely, then it's going to be continuous data. Now, levels of measurement we have with our numbers. We start at the lowest level which is nominal. So these are numbers that really just name things. So we go back to the numbers on jerseys. That's just a name. That's number 35, that's number 12, that's number 40, that's number 20, right? And number 40 is not twice as good as number 20. They're just names, nominals. That's a nominal level, level of measurement. So it's putting things into categories. Um, and nominal um, level of measurement can be uh, non-numerical numbers as well. Yes, no, um, a, uh, political affiliation, gender, things like that. So categorical stuff is in the nominal level. Ordinal, ordering things, also can be both uh, quantitative and qualitative. Right? It can be numbers, but it can also be non-number things. And ordinal is just one level up from nominal because it now has some sort of order. Our grade system is an ordinal level of measurement because an A is better than a B, which is better than a C, but the differences between them is really not quantifiable. Interval level 
involves now we have to be uh, numerical data. We can't be at the interval level unless we have numbers. So the last two levels, interval and ratio, are both going to be numbers. And the difference between them can be subtle. Uh, ratio, by the way, this next one is, is what we normally deal with. There's very few things in the world that are interval level. And the difference between interval and ratio is interval numbers, um, they're put in an order like ordinal. And the difference between the values is meaningful. So now the difference between 1 and 2, 3 and 4, that distance means something. So um, you know, from 3 to 6 is a distance of 3, and from 6 to 10 is a distance of, of 4. That means something, whereas before, if they were in an order, you just know which one came before the other. However, there's no natural zero with interval level measurements. You can't say there's none of it. So an example would be years, IQ scores, and temperature, because you can't have zero years, you can't have a zero IQ, and you can't have no temperature whatsoever. Some, no matter how cold it is, it still has a temperature. So those are interval level, and then the rest are the ones that we're used to, ratio level. All the things that we're, we normally think of when we think of data is you know, prices, uh, money, uh, quantities, age, all of these things have a, a zero and if you have ten dollars that's twice as much as five dollars right so that that interval still means something but you can also have no dollar zero so it's ratio level. So in summary the levels of measurement nominal is just categories, ordinal is categories with some sort of order, interval you now are talking about numbers only and the, the differences mean something but there's no actual zero and then ratio brings in that actual zero so you can have none of whatever it is you're measuring. That's it.